just about everybody in this building that's following the pension issue, we have been told over the last 24 or 48 hours that Senate Bill 1, the Senate Bill 1 that's sitting over in the House that actually, from a substantive standpoint, does the most, regardless of where you are on the issue, does the most in terms of benefit reform to have cost savings and is not going to survive, that the President of the Senate is going to call it for a vote and it's going to die because he doesn't like it. Um, he has made the decision that it's not constitutional, at least that's what he claims. I don't know how anybody can make that claim uh, except for the people over the Supreme Court. But the reality is we've all been told that Senate Bill 1 is dead. And as Representative Ives just said, I think it was so eloquent that the only issue or the one of the most important issues of this General Assembly this year is pension reform. We have to do a budget, but if we don't solve the pension problem today or tomorrow in a substantive way, our world continues to crumble. We all know the numbers. $100 billion of unfunded liability. Billion dollars. $17 million a day. The crowding out, the bond houses knocking on our doors saying, your ability to borrow money is going to cost you more. We may get to a point where it will be almost impossible to borrow money. We have got to do pension reform. And yet, this chamber and the chamber across the way has not found a way to close the deal on pension reform.